in the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. You have such a strong chin. the same. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Now, sound like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Shaw. Oh. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. afternoon 
right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing for the fences. Led by star pitcher Matt the Missile Merchant. Come on, just Boston's answer the door and he'll go away. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is, it's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. Uh, come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. Come on. You really think it could happen? Nuclear war? Of course not, but look, we have Sean to think of now. <sighs> You're right. Let's get it over with. Just need to get this pesky info all squared away. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection which he is so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling, or great at smashing blocks together. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sound. 